Well, here we are again. Uh, this is part six, I believe. Uh, I went through this thing trying to figure out exactly where our problem was. I uh, do want to answer some uh, comments uh, that was uh, posted. Uh, one of the things was that was said that, and which is very true, you can have a, a low voltage on your AVC and even possibly get uh, a little bit of noise some distortion possibly uh, as well if the radio is way out of alignment uh, I should have probably made it a little more clear it wasn't out of alignment uh, I've been through it on four different occasions of uh, checking and double checking and triple checking alignment and from the initial alignment because that's my first thought was is that it was you know once I got it um, up and running and got all them switches and wires out of there but no she wasn't out of alignment uh, and as far as uh, go ahead and go into as far as the with the ABC low how can that possibly by its lonesome by itself cause a, a potential distortion problem um, to answer that question and a person got it you know hit it on uh, pretty close on in the comments was these uh, that supplies the grid voltage to more importantly to the IF amp although it's also supplying it to the mixer tube but the mixer tube will uh, it can withstand uh, a wide range of uh, voltages uh, on the grid uh, in fact this particular tube tube that it uses can even go to zero volts on its grid and be fine the IF on the other hand is a little particular and getting up there close to that well initially what I started out with with uh, a point two a negative point two volts that was getting awful close to zero and when the signal comes in uh, and the signal swings positive uh, a station whatever it could actually take the grid to a positive level which is not a good thing for the most part when you do that the tube will can go into distortion uh, because of saturation the tube kind of it's operating at max but you flat top the wave uh, clip it off and you get distortion and that's going to get amplified through the next several stages you know and uh, so that presents a a problem there and that's why you want your ABC to be working good and you want um, you know that proper grid voltage now some of the problems I ran into uh, initially I took voltage readings everything seemed to be fine within um, a certain tolerance until well until I got to the AVC and plus also by it being a little low and I was getting a little bit lower voltage on the plate of that uh, tube also which is a dual diode triode uh, combination tube later after uh, messing with it and messing with it and trying to get making sure and like I said triple checking the alignment I did both with a, a VTVM and a signal generator as well as a sweep and, and the, did a visual uh, you know she was well within alignment uh, she peaked out good and so I went back and I said okay let's go back to page one we'll run some we went through uh, 
check the voltages again first I did a uh, resistance check and I had some funny readings on it I'll get to here in a minute because it actually goes in hand in hand with the voltage when I did the voltages when I got to uh, the B pluses started seem being off to the high side and what it turned out to be is there's a resistor up here and that correlates to this very first um, resistor in the uh, pi in the filter now this resistor the original one which was reading way high is uh, a five percent tolerance resistor they really wanted this thing to stay within pretty close values of what it was well I replaced it <coughs> excuse me I replaced it and my replacement went off after a while being on so I actually went the other direction and went low so I didn't have any more uh, one watts so I put a couple half watts in there and uh, paralleled them up and we got it back we got our B plus back where it's supposed to be all our voltages checking good and, and which helped a little bit with this voltage down here that ABC but still had some noise well in tracing it and when we did the signal traces um, you know it appeared that we had we were fine coming out of the mixer but we had noise coming in here so I checked this IF can and it was good that's how come I said I doubt it really was it because I already knew it was alright uh, what I actually figured was this, the noise was coming from here and causing problems here in the grid so I tore this IF can apart which is down here and this is a replacement one and I tore the old one apart and one of the things I was suspecting was that these capacitors here that's in this filter uh, were leaking and by that leaking enough that they were taking the signal back to ground uh, in doing so that would reduce both the diode voltages down well when I tore it apart this is what I found uh, extreme discoloration they're badly corroded they should look shiny like this uh, but they're not these are these three pieces here make up those two capacitors that are connected to ground and across a, a resistor that sits internally in here. This is what the tops look like, which I, you know, they looked fine to me initially, but they were badly corroded. And plus the uh, insulating material, which is mica, was discolored as well, even after I cleaned it. Um, I don't know if this is going to show up that well, but we'll try. Um, these have been cleaned and they're rather dirty still it's pretty much went into the mica they should be pretty much kind of clearish like this one it's got a little specks of dirt on it but fairly clean and clear but they're discolored uh, there's stains on them and stuff and uh, when I got them so much basically out of circuit they would they were showing um, actually reading the resistance on the around two meg ohms uh, I did try to get them out of the circuit enough to run this which I was able to do and they were showing leakage clear down below 100 volts so uh, in fact they have just showing leakage right off the bat without even which starts out about 15 20 volts on this thing so the, these do go bad uh, especially if they're silver plated which these are some of these aren't some of these are just regular uh, tin metal but 
these happen to be silver so so I replaced that that reduced distortion some got my voltage a little bit better but there was still some distortion so I started going through checking everything uh, in the general circuit areas couldn't find any uh, what you call smoking gun I did replace a couple resistors that were just yeah, right at the edge of the tolerances but I didn't figure they would be now I had taken and tested every tube in this radio and actually uh, when the distortion started showing up and I located it being down in this area especially between these two tubes I checked them I also checked the mixer like I got six tube testers uh, three of them are non you know they they do um, your transconductance as well as other tests as well as emissions I went through all three tube testers and everybody was checking good there was no leakage there was no gas in the tube tubes or anything and they they looked good they they were testing well within specs on the micromoles the transconductance and uh, working really good well this is the tube that I tested one of them I tested this happens to be the this bottom one the, the 14B6 and you know, although it tests good it's not I substituted a tube in here. I did not have one of these. Uh, the closest thing I had was a 7C6, which is a 6 volt tube. Electrically, otherwise, it's the same tube, uh, other than the fact the filament. Now, it, it runs at a, a lower current rating, so the voltage across it will be actually a little increased as opposed to when I changed this one out or substituted a 7B7 in there. It was a 300 milliamp. This is 150 milliamp, which is what all the tubes run at. So it will actually have a higher voltage. So and it does. So I keep it kind of cranked down a little bit. It's on right now. But when I put that tube in there, the distortion cleared up what was left of it completely. And uh, well, now that's interesting. Now I don't have nothing. I might have was working <laughs> well we got another problem now it's on and it was working so and I've been rattling along here but our voltages are up I don't know why we're not getting a signal out but we're not right now so we'll have to go through that. I won't do it on this this one here. But we'll figure out what's wrong with it now. <laughs> it's hard telling. It didn't take out the filament because it's a series hooked up filament. So the dial light would have went out and everything. So something else has gave out in it. The point is I replaced the... Uh, there was actually a, a capacitor in here too that was a new capacitor that was bad too but that had nothing to do with the distortion that's where I'm at at this point um, I'll see if I can try to get her working uh, on the next video whether working or not we'll go through and troubleshoot it some more and find out why it's not why it just quit working it was coming in nice and clear so we'll see what's going on there so until the next time thanks for uh, watching and subscribing I got a lot of new subscribers and I really appreciate it and uh, thanks for your comments um, been really busy with this I've been trying to keep get the cabinet cleaned up too so uh, I'll record another one here in a couple days Thank you. Tasting, uh, through the babies who were I'm back. The <laughs> love.
Mango. It seems like I can a see very that. weird. I didn't clean the tube pins on that tube that I re the put in there. And after I shut this thing off, I decided, well, turn the radio back on. Still had nothing. I kind of wiggled the tube a little bit. And, uh... GSR sensors were placed on the feet of seven came in. As they sat in their various. <laughs> We've got to slow them down on just a little bit of transition because we definitely won't stop them. Talking to Cavs head coach Mike Brown, uh, Michael Carter Williams, of course, is off to a terrific start. Uh, Eastern the speaker of the week has overdrives played, real friggin' easy. Bashful about shooting the ball. What's your take on his game? Choose better with Papa John's. Call or order so. online today at papajohns.com. Carol Daniel here, and it's. Plus, with the radio setting up like this, sometimes it uh, doesn't pick up good. At nighttime, I, this radio doesn't seem to want to be real good, although around here I do have problems with my other radios too, including my car radio at night. So, anyway, we'll still play with it a little bit, and uh, then I want to use it for doing some other teaching. I went ahead and ordered a tube to replace that one but it's on back order uh, so hopefully it comes in pretty soon and uh, until then thanks again and till next time